Due to lack of stones in Bengal, the Bengal temples are made of terracotta or burnt brick. Now, in the designs of the temple, we see depictions from Ramayana, Mahabharata and so on. And we also see depictions of common life. But a certain temple in West Midnipur has excelled in the latter point. We are going to see that, but let's do with a quick history lesson. Between 1813 and 1814, two of the earliest steam locomotives, Puffing Billy and Vilem Dilly, were built to work in the Vilem Colliery in England. Now let us come to a small village, Anandapur, in West Midnipur in India. Here we see a temple, the Roghunath temple of the Shorkar family. And here at a corner we see two motives of a couple of railway engines. And if we notice, we can surely say that these engines are not just any engines. These engines are the motives of Puffing Billy and Wylam Dilly. Here we see three railwaymen in each panel. They are a driver, a farman and a miner. We must remember that these engines were built to work in a colliery, so miners are quite common. But how did these engines arrive in this temple? These trains never came to India, so how did the architects know about these? Did they appear in a newspaper? We do not know. But it is certain that these trains can be seen in this special temple. And that's why this special temple is indeed a treasure in our country's history.